welcome back to my channel. So for today, we're going to be doing the three marker challenge. I am going to be using these three Copic original markers that I got recently. I didn't get them in thinking of a three marker challenge and I didn't really plan on this, but as I was using them, I suddenly realized, hey, this would actually make a pretty good three marker challenge video. So I asked you guys on Twitter and Instagram uh, what do you guys think? Should I do a three marker challenge with these markers, which I'd already started to use? And everyone said, yes, definitely go for it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So this is an added challenge, though, because these are Copic original markers. They have a chisel tip and a bullet tip. And I am used to the Copic sketch markers, which have a brush tip. I have actually used brush tip markers exclusively for like over 10 years now. And the last time I used a chisel tip marker was actually over 15 years ago. The first marker set that I ever got for myself when I was like a teenager in the late 90s was Prismacolor markers and they had chisel tips. So it has been a really long time and I found it a big challenge to get back into that. So first I'm swatching out the colors, just seeing how they go get a feel for the chisel tip and the different marks it can make. The chisel tip's really diverse because it can make a lot of different marks. It's just that I'm rusty, really, really rusty with using it. So uh, it was a little difficult to get used to it. I've been using these markers off and on for a few weeks now, um, and I'm finally ready to do this video and get it done. Honestly, I've been planning this video for so long, but it just, there was no time for it. So uh, the three markers that I'm using are BG32 Aqua Mint, RV13 Tender Pink, and RV17 Deep Magenta. Honestly, what I when I first picked up these colors, I was thinking about like colors I like and also colors I might be find useful. And I kind of thought that the RV13 and the RV17 would work well together, but they don't really. <laughs> uh, the RV13 is a nice pink color on the first go if you just do one layer. But if you layer it again, it starts turning kind of almost fluorescent. Um, and that does not work too well with the RV-17 because the RV-17 is really dark. Um, so they don't blend the way I would expect them to. Here is me uh, showing you the sketchbook pages that I've done. And in my second page of sketches, I drew this really cute character. I really love them like so much and I wanted to explore it more. So. I took that drawing and I made it bigger and I added a lot more detail and that is a drawing that we'll be using for this video. So yeah, I really like how this drawing turned out. I thought she was super cute and I really hope you guys like this. I am lining it with my um, Copic Multiliners in cool gray. I kind of was thinking about doing lineless because when I was using my sketchbook, I would just do the pencil lines and then I'd go right in marker. Um, but I decided that I really thought that because it's a bigger image, I should use lines and I thought the cool gray would kind of disappear a bit if I wanted that to happen. And if not, I could just darken it later. And I do actually darken some of the areas later with black. So yeah, that turned out really good too. So back to the markers, uh, the, the color that I thought probably wouldn't do as well with the others was the BG32, the aqua mint. Um, but actually that turned out to be the hero of this three marker challenge because it works well with shading the RV-17 and the RV-13. So that one was kind of my favorite and well, it's an aqua color. I love that color. <laughs> um, so yeah, it has been a really long time since I last did chisel tip markers and trying to figure them out. So it is a challenge. Um, I find myself, compared to the Copic sketch markers, I find myself using the Copic original markers as double-ended marker way more. Like, I am constantly switching between the two ends while when I'm using my Copic sketch markers, I tend to just leave it on the brush tip and the only time I use the chisel tip is when I'm doing something that I worry will clog the tip, so I use the tip I don't use, or when I have accidentally uncapped the wrong side and I just have to move really, really quickly because I need to blend this like right now and oh my gosh, and I'm just in a rush. Um, so yeah, that's the benefit in one way for the Copic Originals. And by the way, I will be kind of, I'm, I hope I'm saying everything. I hope I'm including everything. It's kind of hard to remember what I said, but uh, I'm going to sort of give you an overview of how I feel about these Copic original markers, but I won't 
go too deep into it because I plan on doing another video with these markers soon. So look forward to that one, hopefully soon. Um, <laughs> so yeah, in general, the, the, I feel like the chisel tip markers have gotten a bit of a bad rep because those Copic sketch markers are like more popular, especially with like artists on Instagram and YouTube, but they're still really good markers. You can still do really good lines with it. I, especially I think younger art audiences, younger artists might get this impression that the Copic originals or other chisel tip alcohol based markers are like useless, but they're not useless. You can still do really great things with them. Um, you just have to get used to the tip. That's all. And there are certain things that you can do with a chisel tip that you can't do with a brush tip. But I also found that there's certain things that you can do with the brush tip you really, really can't do with the chisel tip. Or at least I can't. I'm not going to say everybody can't. It's just for me, my experience, I had a hard time figuring out and I still can't figure it out. Um, the way that I'm used to blending with my Copic markers, I just could not get to work with these chisel tip or the bullet tip. Um, so, yeah. I found that really difficult. Instead, I tend it to do flat washes. I guess it's, well, I've been using watercolor too much. I don't know the term. Like uh, just filling in flat color and then glazing over it a lot more with these markers. But it still does the job. It's great. Sorry, that was me hitting my hand as I was moving my hand around while I'm talking. <laughs> but it still does the job. It's still great. Um, it just, I had to move, use them in a slightly different way than I'm used to. And, uh, yeah. The other thing I would have expected with the chisel tip and the bullet tip, especially the bullet tip, um, would be that it would be more streaky than, than using like the brush tip, but it, it's really not. It just, it settles in the same way that the brush tip does and on the paper. It's like the ink will spread a tiny bit, even on really good paper. So that kind of just uh, evens the color out and it looks really nice. So yeah. Overall, I really like it. Uh, another thing that I found surprising was the bullet tip on these Copic Originals is a lot harder than I would have expected and the, the chisel tip is a lot softer. So when I want it a nice, large, soft color, I found myself reaching for the uh, chisel tip more. And of course, the bullet tip is great for doing like lines and for filling very small areas. So yeah. Uh, so let's talk about the drawing a little bit. So this was just a little tiny thumbnail sketch that I'd done just to test to see um, what color I liked for the skin more. I had already done some sketches where I used like the green for the skin and well, I, I mean the aqua mint for the skin and I did the deep magenta for the skin. So I wanted to try tender pink and see how I liked that and I did the darker uh, pink for the hair and I really really liked that combination. So when I drew her bigger, I decided to give her little teeth coming out of her bottom lip, like, uh, well, it's not out of her lip, it's like from her mouth, but you can see them on top of her bottom lip because I thought it was just really cute and I just liked the idea. Um, as I was sketching it, I really didn't have any quite like definite idea of what she was. I gave her like elf ears, so I thought, oh, I don't know, maybe she's an elf, but when I showed the finished drawing to my sister, she's like, oh, that's a troll. I'm like, are, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, darker skin like the teeth coming out the ear she's a troll so I was like all right troll girl <laughs> um, and I really like her I think she's super cute I had so much fun with her hair and the colors just it just seemed to work perfectly um, I wanted to give her a bit more interest from the little sketch to the bigger sketch so I gave her like a flower crown and I used all three of the colors in the flower crown so I think it worked perfectly when I was doing the body coloring I did some body blush on her uh, shoulders that just did not work out like it it was looking really bad so I ended up trying to like smooth it out by using the pink again to cover it up but it didn't quite work so instead I tried to cover it and like make it go away by putting like white dots on her shoulder and I think that actually turned out really cool because then I started to do like tribal colorings and I thought it was just like really 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 neat and when it came to the background I really wasn't sure what I was doing, to be honest. I was just trying to put some color on the paper and see what happens, and it just kind of evolved, and I used uh, rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip to try to make an uh, interesting effect in the background, but to be honest, unless I put a lot of alcohol in one spot, it didn't make much of an effect at all. So in the end, I decided to cover it. I mean, well, it did kind of help to blend the colors more, but that was about it. It wasn't like a visual effect, so... 
um, I used white gouache and I flicked on some stars in the background and then I used my white gel pen to make bigger stars and I actually think that that actually made it so much better because it kind of completed the image because she has these markings of stars on her shoulders and then there's stars in the background so it's kind of like she's this troll girl that worships the stars and it's I thought it was just really cool and it just came together perfectly. As I had said in my last video, recently I've been sketching in my sketchbook and I feel like that has made me so much more free when I'm doing my artwork. So when I did this drawing, even though I made some really big mistakes, I just used those to my advantage and I just made the drawing so much better. And I'm just really happy that I've gotten to a point where I can do that and it's not so stressful. So yeah, I just really like this drawing and I hope you guys do too. And the Copic original markers are actually really great. Um, I do still miss the brush tip because I kind of miss the way that I blend with the brush tip, but uh, I don't think that the Copic Originals deserve the wrap they get. And uh, yeah, I might even get some more in the future, but definitely stay tuned if you're interested in these markers because I'm going to be doing another video where I actually try out the Copic Original brush tips. So definitely stay tuned for that. That will be coming up in a few weeks. I have a few other videos I have to do first, but yeah, so I really hope that you guys like this video and if you do, definitely leave me a comment down below to let me know and give this video a thumbs up. And if you like this artwork, then definitely head over to my Redbubble shop and check it out. I have a lot of prints and other goods for sale there with this artwork and many of my other artworks as well. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post art related videos every week. Um, and if you want to make sure that you're kept up to date with what I'm doing, like when I'm posting a video or my current artworks and sketches, stuff like that, then definitely follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.